Have you ever wondered how Hersh's Myth Unit spawn works when using the Major God Loki? Well, that's what we're covering in this video, so when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. When looking online, there seem to be a variety of different theories about Hersh's and how they work. One theory suggested that you could only spawn Myth Units from the age the Hersh was created in. Others say the spawn rate had to do with a certain amount of damage. I'm here to tell you that these things simply aren't true. Thanks to some extremely useful help from Ippert, the person who made the Age of Mythology Encyclopedia sheet, I'm here to present to you how hearses truly work. Before you can understand how they work, we need to take a look at how the Norse faction gains favour. This is because the favour gain rate is directly related to how hearses spawn myth units. Everything in Age of Mythology has a certain favor bounty, which is the amount of favor you can gain from destroying or killing said thing in total. For heroes and myth units, this is 1.08 to around 2.16, usually. Some exceptions are 2.5 for Heka Gigantis. For human units, it's 1.08. For buildings, it ranges from 2.2 to 4.3. For passive hunt, it's 0.48, like deers and cows, and for aggressive hunt, it's 1.44, think crocodiles and lions. And for chickens and ducks, you get 0. And finally, for titans and wonders, you can get 100 total favor from killing and destroying them. These numbers are the total amount of favor you are able to gain at a base 1 times gamma rate. If you were, for example, to deal 10% damage to a titan, you would gain 10 favor in total, given that whatever units you use to deal that damage have a 1 time favor multiplier. This in turn also means the high HP a unit or building has, the longer it will take you to gain that favor because you're dealing a lower percentage of damage against said unit or building. If you take a look at this graph, on screen, you can see the bigger the bar is, the slower your favor gain is when using a Hurseer on a certain building or unit. If you take a look at the Fortress and Wonder, you can see that a Wonder seems to be faster favor per minute or per hit. That's simply because the favor to HP ratio of a Wonder is much better than the Fortresses. And an interesting little fact is that walls do not seem to generate favor, which is why there isn't a bar. Please keep in mind that this chart is only relevant for Hursa units, as siege units will destroy a fortress much quicker and for that reason will gain favor faster than the Hursa if they had the same favor multiplier, which they in fact do not. Therefore, we need to look at the favor multipliers of the various Norse units. Longboats seem to have the highest multiplier at 2.5 visible in the game files and working in game. Next up, Hersiers have a 2 times multiplier, which is why they can't be compared in that graph I showed you to Siege units, as all of the other regular Norse units, like a Ballista, have a 1.1 multiplier. Then both the Drakkar and Dragon ships have a 1 time multiplier, and finally, Myth units seem to have a 0 times multiplier, which means they cannot generate favor. To make this a little simpler, this means that if you were able to gain 10 favor from a random unit, you'd be getting 25 favor with the longboats, or 20 favor with the hearsers, or 11 favor with a ballista. I hope that makes sense. Also, it is worth noting that Hersheers gain passive favor at 0.6 favor per minute during and beyond the classical age. This can easily be checked by placing 10 in the editor and seeing the favor go up by 6 per minute. Now that you understand how Norse favor gain works, it's time to move on to the Hersheer spawning mechanic. I will refer to an invisible game stat called Loki's Pool, being an invisible currency that is related to when your myth unit will spawn. Please note that this is exclusive to the Loki Major God and Hurser unit. After Ipper did some testing by adjusting his game files and the bounty factor and so on, we could conclude that the multiplier was 1.2 times, so 20% over the favorite game. This can be seen in the game files under startup in the game 2.8 config. Then, once you reach a certain amount of that Loki pool currency, given that you do have the population for the unit, it will spawn. The formula for this will be on screen now. 
please keep in mind that the unit favor for myth units when using Loki is 10% less, which is why the Loki pool required to spawn a certain myth unit is the unit favor required times 0.9 if population is available. The formula for how Loki pool is gained is actually surprisingly simple. It's the damage dealt in percent of the unit or building favor bounty times the favor multiplier, which is two for Herseers, times the 1.2 Loki pool gain rate of the Herseer. To help you understand, I'm going to take a random example of a unit that doesn't exist in the game. This so-called myth unit requires 10 favor and is the only myth unit you have access to with the Herseer. With Loki, this unit will require nine favor as it requires 10% less. Let's say you're killing villagers which have a favor bounty of 1.08 instantly. This would mean that you get 2.16 favor per villager as the favor multiplier of the Hursa is two times. Times that amount by 1.2 and you'd be getting 2.592 Loki pool per kill. This means you'd require 3.47 or better said, four kills to spawn that myth unit requiring 10 or with Loki, nine favor. For anyone wondering, I'm giving these terms my own little name to understand it a little easier. However, the in-game file names for these terms are slightly different. The names for this are on screen now, if you ever want to look in your own files. Now, before I showcase this working in action, I'd like to mention some short facts. Herseer's passive favor gain does not contribute to the Loki pool for anyone wondering. You cannot spawn ravens or water myth units with Herseer's. In team games, if your team damages a unit or building first, favor gain will not be the same or not the full amount. If you have full population and you do reach that Loki pool, there's a delay and it doesn't stack up units. If a unit is already chosen and you just happen to advance a new age, that unit that rolled will still be a unit from the previous age. The reason for this is because it's already selected. Then after that, obviously in the new age, every new unit that is rolled from the Loki pool will consider the new age as well. Because you can spawn units from any minor god when using Herseers, even though you can't trade them at your temple, with the exception of those water myth units and ravens. This means it's virtually impossible to track and predict which unit you're going to be spawning, especially in the late game, because the pool where Loki can decide what unit to spawn is going to get more and more variation in terms of different units. With all of that being said, let me demonstrate it in action by using a Heresy with very high HP and damage on Toxotas. Per Toxotas, I'll be getting 2.592 Loki pool, which means according to this chart, I'd need this amount of kills to spawn a certain myth unit from the myth unit table. In this test, I am going to be in the mythic age, so I can spawn anything. In this particular example, I'm going to be spawning a mountain giant after killing nine Toxotas. However, in actual gameplay, the mountain giant will have spawned after killing 8.68 Toxotas. Next up, we're going to be spawning a Valkyrie in this particular example where I kill seven Toxotas. This throw has six units and there's one more Toxotas left. I'm going to kill it and spawn a Valkyrie. There you go. That's because a Valkyrie requires 6.25 Toxotas, or 7 Toxotas. Next up, we're going to spawn a Troll, which requires 5.2 Toxotes, or Toxotes, which means 6 kills. There you go, the row of 6 is dead, and a Troll has spawned. Next up, we're going to test on Hydras, which have a favor bounty of 2.16, as they are myth units. As you can see, I killed three Hydras, which means I only have the ability to spawn units that require four or more Hydra kills. This means in this particular example, I could predict which units are going to spawn next, as any unit above three or around three units to spawn is out of the equation. In this case, I could spawn a Valkyrie, Battle Boar, or Giant unit. As you can see, I've killed four Hydras, which means that the only units I can spawn are units beyond four, which require five if rounded off, which means a Battle Boar, Mountain Giant, or Fire Giant spawn. I can physically not spawn any other myth unit with this Herseer. That's how Herseers work. You cannot accurately predict which unit you're going to spawn. The only thing you know is you can spawn any of the Classical Age units if you're in the Classical Age. 
That's all you can really do. You can guess which unit you could be getting from a pool of units. You cannot accurately predict which unit you're going to spawn and when because there are too many variables in fighting with different units. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.